Scale Modelers, welcome to a kit review from the Mile High Scale Modeler channel. This is the Fujimi 2005 WRX STI Hawkeye at 1 24th scale, kit number ID-83. Let's have a look at the box art for this model kit. We will then move to opening the box, showing the contents of the box, and then taking a deep dive into each individual sprue. This kit review, along with all others I produce, are to be informative to the viewer like you to help you decide if the current prices you are seeing for this kit are worth it. Let's go through the box quickly and then deep dive into the contents. For products that I use to suit my building needs along with my airbrush setup, all this information and links can be found in the description below. If you would like to be notified of further content I produce, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Being a subscriber is one of the great things YouTube allows viewers like you to do for free and it helps content creators like me to produce more quality content for all of you. Let's start our deep dive with the instruction manual. The front page doesn't have much to really go over besides the color list at the bottom. I'm not sure which company Fujimi refers to for the paints, if it's Tamiya or Mr. Hobby. Opening up the instruction manual, the parts list is identified with the sprue that come in the kit along with markings and paint identified on the bottom portion of the page. The first five steps are assembling and installing front and rear chassis assembly, including the installation of the wheels and tires. Step six, the installation of the exhaust, rear diffuser, and engine plate are completed. Step seven, the set of tires are installed to the chassis to make a roller. Step eight, the dashboard, steering wheel, and pedals are installed. Step nine, we continue with the assembly and installation, and step 10, the interior is installed to the chassis. Step 11 and 12, the body gets some attention. Step 14, the window masks are used and the glass is painted black for the outline. The remaining steps, the glass is installed and the body is installed at the chassis. Here is another small instruction excerpt in Japanese that comes with the kit. The mask for the glass is pre-cut and is the typical quality we find from Fujimi, Aoshima, and Tamiya. The decal sheet has two different gauge cluster decals you can use. The STI emblems, I'm saddened they are actually pink. 
I was hoping the box art, as it showed the paint coloring of the decals, was not what we'd actually receive. This isn't a big deal as I can copy this decal sheet to Photoshop and change the color and reprint decals in the color of my choosing. The wheels in this kit come in black styrene and Fujimi painted them this gold metallic cover as we can see on the back. As always, I do a squeeze test to see how soft or hard the tires are. On the sidewall of these tires, which are very detailed, you will find the brand of Bridgestone and the actual tire size. The tire size is 235-45-VR17. The tread of these tires are directional. If you build this kit, just make sure the tread is going in the right direction for all four wheels. Here is the poly caps that are used to install the wheels to the chassis. This is the small clear glass tree for the rear taillights. Here is the remaining clear glass. The glass of the windshield and rear window have an outline that will make it easy for the window mask to be placed on the window if you choose to black out the glass as we see on the actual one to one cars. For the rear window, Fujimi took time to add rear defroster lines. This is a nice touch. Here is the red clear glass for this kit. The kit comes with yellow glass for the side markers. The chrome tree has the headlight and taillight lamps along with the mirror reflective glass for the side door mirrors. The first part sprue has the drive shaft molded with the transaxle. The exhaust is separate which is nice to see as many other flat box kits have the exhaust molded to the chassis. The engine pan is detailed as well and we can see the other parts on this tree. For the next part sprue, we can find the gas tank, rack and pinion, muffler, and other needed parts to complete this build. These are very detailed parts and I like the way it looks overall so far looking through this kit. Moving along we find the chassis, brake rotors and calipers, along with the shock absorbers, struts, and other parts. The bottom of the chassis has wiring molded in which you can give great detail if you want to go the extra mile and detail those components. Dry brushing or using any sort of paint to make these details step out would definitely be helpful for this build. This kit unfortunately only comes with one style dashboard. Other kits in the past I've seen from Fujimi come with a Japanese Euro style dashboard and a US style dashboard. This kit only has the right side driver option. However, the dash and gauge cluster is nice and crisp with having extraordinary details that can be painted to bring the interior to life. The kit provides two piece molded seats. I was hoping for a one piece with this kit, however, we will see the rear portion of the seat on the next part sprue. Moving along, we have the interior part sprue that includes the back portion of the seats. The door cards are nicely made, and this is a great opportunity to make a two-tone interior like the STIs typically have. 
The steering wheel, steering column, and handbrake are here on this sprue as well. We can see the grille for the Subaru along with the manual shifter. The rear seats on this interior are molded in and can be easily painted with this not being a tub style of interior so the door cards are not in the way. This blue part sprue has the trunk lid wing, the three piece mini wing that goes over the top of the rear window glass, the rocker panels and some additional parts. If you are enjoying this video so far, please hit that like button and comment below if you've built this kit or if you have this kit in your stash. If you've built this kit, please let us know if there have been any issues that you saw during the build. Next up we can see the front and rear bumpers, side door mirrors, hood scoop, windshield wipers for the front and single windshield wiper for the back, along with other parts. The body is molded in a blue metallic plastic. We can see lines in the plastic from where it met on different sides of the mold, however this is typical to be seen with Fujimi, Oshima, and Tamiya kits. Just primer over this and it won't be a problem. A few mold lines are found in the body but very minimal and minor to remove. Overall the body has great details and the body being molded separately from the front and rear bumper will allow for aftermarket options to be easily used from hobby design. Fujimi did not let us down with this kit and what came with it out of the box. I also wanted to show aftermarket photo edge that can be purchased from the Crazy Modeler if you're looking for that additional detail. This aftermarket set comes with emblems, a photo etched grille, slotted brake rotors, metal windshield wipers and rear window wiper blade, along with a cool gauge cluster bevel and more. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all in the next video.